Alright, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogboat53, and welcome back to Arch of Iron 4, the New Order Last Days of Europe as Germany. Now, in last video, um, Hitler is, uh, he's fucking dying. I don't know what else to say. And we're trying to get our support as high as we can. We're also trying to ensure our position in the great game against, um, uh, Italy here. We almost had it, but they tied with us in the last round, so we have to win this. Or else, they're gonna stay neutral. Um, let's go ahead and, um, defund the Luftwaffe. For decades, Goring has seemingly been Albert Speer's greatest rival with the two continuously coming into conflict since the establishment of the Fuhrer's regime three decades ago. Given her Spears' newfound uh, influence being the Fuhrer's successor, he will of course target his greatest rival, for it is the survival of the fittest. It's been decided to, that to best check Goring's influence, he must neuter his pride and joy, the Luftwaffe. As a result, as a result we will defund the Luftwaffe, keeping them short of fuel and restricting the missions they can fly with which affect Goring's power. Yet, this isn't purely personal, as cutting back on the Luftwaffe's budget is something that very much appeals to Speer due to his pragmatic economic strategy. There we go. There's a reason for it all. And it's not just that um, Goring is a stinky doo-doo head, though that is true, partially. A lot of legitimacy building, I'm noticing. In fact, pretty much mainly. Okay, we're at 10. We are at 10. There is nothing else we can do right now. In fact, I'm going to save again real quick. Just so we know. We are ready to save scum. If this goes to... To hell. I don't so much care about these because we are good. Bulgaria shall be ours. Ha. <sighs> oh. Italy is pulling out all of the stops. They're doing all of the favors. Hopefully this will blow up in their fucking face, and we will have it down. Well, R.I.P. Buryatia. Too purely and strangely wholesome for our world, even though it pr probably wouldn't be wholly like that, to be real. But, you know, RIP still. Look for opportunities. Slavery has been a dominant has it been a fact of life in the Reich for well over a decade now. Slave labor dominates most labor-intensive sectors of our economy and represents a huge portion of our GDP. The institution is old enough to contain a new generation that only knows the walls and barbed wire of the labor camps. For a while now, the slave population has been slow but steadily rising, and, is and it is apparent that we now need more living space for the increased number of laborers. The camps are starting to overflow with people, and their living conditions are steadily declining. Although it is inconvenient, something that should be done now, living conditions aren't safe for the slaves, which makes it dangerous for the Germans that guard and employ them. The most simple option available to us is to build new labor camps, but there are also more uh, creative approaches we can consider. So we can improve the conditions, uh, hand some off to the slave, uh, be here, being con just begin construction, or probably kill them. That's probably what Hydric wants to do. Let's improve conditions. Increase our own legi uh, legitimacy. Are these guys gonna do anything? Ooh, 
Yesterday, Lufafa units based in northern England intercepted an American U-2 spy plane. Speaking of England, what are they doing right now? Are they going loyalist or... They are going loyalist. Okay. Interesting. Onward to interception. Three of the four aircraft suffered a fatal... Uh, su suffered an engine difficulty and safely returned to base. The final aircraft piloted by Hero of the Reich, Obrist Hermann Graf, entered missile range and fired. The American pilot, terrified of being shot down, immediately fled with his tail between his legs. Her Graf and his pilot with over 300 confirmed kills in the Second World War has proven, again, the superiority of the Aryan race over the Yankee monocles. I don't even think about coming back over here. You hear me? Okay, let's see. They called in their... Okay, fuck. We gotta, re we gotta reload. We gotta reload. We got to. I'm not letting Bulgaria get away from me, damn it. I want their... What the fuck does Bulgaria do? Like, what do they have of value in their country? It sucks not knowing anything about Bulgaria to make memes about. Um. Bulgarians. Yeah, I love Bulgarians. They are cool people with their, um, their cities like, um, Sofia. Plovdid, uh, Burgas, oh, Varna, man, I fucking love Varna, Varna's fucking great, let me tell you something, boy, I tell you what, I tell you what, I love me Varna, Varna's best city on that, uh, ever created on God's green earth, let me tell you what, boy, Helicopters. We got jet. Let's get some Messerschmitts, I guess, and then we're gonna work on a doctrine, right? I tell you what. I think advanced will be probably better since we're gonna be do doing mostly urban stuff. Look for opportunities, slave tramp camps, improve conditions. So we have the most influence, though that's gonna last like two days. Okay, choke, 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 choke. Fuck you, Italy. Choke, 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 choke. Fuck. Okay. We're loading save. Let's try loading the auto save, actually. been injured. I could use some coke right now. Fuck! Are we just got not gonna be able to win Bulgaria? want one here it's probably best for the region just because you know oh fuck you okay oh howdy partner how are you doing fuck you Italy you know what 
Fuck you. Oh, look, Chad, I'm, pl I'm playing Italy. Okay, PP25. Dadger. This is probably shitty, I know, but fuck it. Where's my German hegemony? God damn it. Um, I'll get some more here regiments to our side. We'll lose a bit of influence, but we'll make that back up in a second, eventually. And I don't think about coming back, motherfuckers. Defeat the loot. Uh, defund Luftwaffe. Now let's do an all, uh, new, wor worry about a new kind of war. Although it's been decades since the end of traditional war, as it can be referred to, many generals in Oberkommando der Wehrmacht seem to have failed to comprehend the change in situation. Seeing this rather old-fashioned outlook as concerning, Hirsch Beer must convince the world, the more traditionalist generals who still view the world through the lens of social Darwinist militarism. We can still fight and win major conflicts without ever firing a shot. We simply need to convey that message to the generals. Now that sounds like some hippie bullshit to me, but I don't know. Dumbasses. What jackass powered them and decided to make them roll again? Oh my god. These fucking idiots. Am I right, Gus? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Gus knows what I'm talking about. And we're about to repress the Sophia Uprising. Tiger East roars once more. We got it. Administrators in the Reich raised toast to each other for German efforts to rein Bulgaria back into the pact have been met with success. Both Germany and Italy have recently been jockeying for control over the small but strategically important country. The Germans have come up on top by bribing, extorting, and exerting their uh, soft power. They have managed to cement their control over this strategically important region. Italian efforts to support the Fatherland Front have failed abysmally, and even now, the German garrison is cracking down on the illegal party and forcing them back underground. For the foreseeable future, Bulgaria will be remain aligned with the Reich, whether they like it or not. An important victory for the Reich. So, they still have the Tsar loyalists, it seems, so we'll see what happens. There, I guess. R.I.P. Wholesome Chungus Buryatia. Um. Yeah, we're still doing the alright influence wise. Really the best we can. About as, not as well as we could be doing at this point, but pretty damn well. All things considered. We got a new kind of war done. Let's tour the nation. Despite the fear's endorsement of her spear as his successor, he remains a deeply divisive figure within the German Reich, with many lambasting him as a political Judas and traitor, whilst others proclaim him to be the Reich's only hope for a prosperous future. Through extreme polarization, the truth of the matter has become muddled in misconception and lies. To show tr the true fatherland, uh, to truly show the fatherland of her spears, friendly nature and pro-Nazi party attitude, we will send him on a grand tour across the Reich to dismay any ridiculous fears. And my back is fucking killing me and it sucks. Fuck! I need better posture. I think that's part of my problem. Let's do attrition planning. What's Brittany up to? Greater Breast. 
No, I love me some breast. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh dear. Spear's blood was running cold. The dread moment had finally arrived. Dr. Brandt had phoned him in the early hours of the morning, claiming that Hitler had fallen into a coma. After an hour of sleepless contemplation, Spear once more wrenched, wrenched himself out of bed, strode into his study room, and plucked up the phone. He needed to talk with the chief of the party chancellery. Heil Hitler! Herr Bormann, I'm sure you would agree that the Führer's absence from pu the public sphere has not gone unnoticed. Dr. Karl Brandt has served Hitler faithfully, and the only thing preventing a faster rate of recovery is Ulysses Schraub's interference. As the designated successor, I will remove him from his post immediately and publicly condemn him. <sighs> Let me guess, Bormann replied after a brief pause. You want me to condemn him too? Scapegoat him to protect Dr. Brandt? He scoffed. I don't care much for Brandt, but Schaub is a repulsive fucking toad. I'll make sure to speak my mind. Let's go on now, Spear said, and placed down the phone. A pang of sickness was growing on his stomach. His friend and mentor was on the cusp of death, and his foes were not going to sit idly by, by once this fact had reached them. He ran a hand through his thinning hair and slowed his breathing. Hitler's current state of health must remain a secret. Only his most loyal supporters in the party and the Wehrmacht could be informed to prepare them for any future conflict. He could give some speeches to sway moderate party comrades and maybe throw in a few dog whistles to rile up the student movement throughout the Reich. As long as the Reichstag declared him to be the Fuhrer, he could possibly maintain a strategic position in Germania in the disastrous event of a civil war. The final curtain is falling. Well, shoot. Oh, Heydrich is making moves, so that'll lower his legitimacy, but it'll help him out somehow. So we get some off-map factories, more units, or some more guns. Yeah, Hitler's comatose. He's not one for this world, I'm afraid. I mean, who would have thought, really? So our military, what was it, military supervision, uh, kill them all. Of course, um, I don't know if that's the best option. Um, our, our social development is pretty dog shit. Okay, Matai is assuming control of the Gulf, that's nice. Uh, let's approach some Americans. With the appointment of her spear as the next Fuhrer, a wave of, op of optimistic fervor has swept across the international community, particularly within the government of the U.S. Prior to the announcement, Spear took a seemingly pragmatic approach to foreign affairs, urging reconciliation and cooper cooperation between nation states. Keeping true to his previous utopian vision, we will reach out to the Americans and prepare the way for a, future, a potential future detente. I'll have to wait and see, of course, but, yeah, that works. What's South Africa up to? Fortify just in case. Okay, so they're talking with the ANC. Which is smart for them. Now it'll only be a one-way civil war with these guys trying to screw them instead of like a a fucking f two ways of war three guys trying to screw them oh there goes Madagascar uh, feels bad man feels bad they're going the wrong way uh oh Robin Gill. Oh, this is the uh, this is the event with um.
Yeah, I read I already read this in the England LP, so I'm kinda I'm also feeling just kinda lazy right now, so I'm not gonna read it. But basically the gist is that um these people Um these English folk hijack a flight and go to Scotland. And Scotland's not gonna give them up because they don't like Germany and we don't officially recognize them. So we can only wait and pray for their safety. And we can look for some opportunities, so let's do it. Millions of Germans were rewarded after our glorious victory in the Second World War. Our true loyal troops oversaw the creation of the greatest empire the world has ever seen. It was therefore only fitting to reward them accordingly. Many veterans were given land to settle positions of power and influence, prestige, and more than their share of wealth. This was easy enough to handle following the days of our great victory. This has set a precedent of entitlement. Yet another generation of soldiers are retiring, and there isn't near the amount of wealth to go around. There simply hasn't been any new conquests. Still, they expect, and even demand, the same compensation the heroes of the last war were gifted, even the men who haven't seen a lick of battle. The most vocal of the new veterans are the last of our men to see the real war, the veteran ends of the West Russian conflict. There's no doubt that they suffered greatly to hold back the title of the tide of red rats that threatened Muscovium, and therefore they only ask for their fair share. It's time we handled retirement benefits once and for all, so we can finally end a debate of what the veterans are due. And times are different now. Yeah, Hydric's making moves. He lost some of his influence. There goes Madagascar. I don't really know who I want. Yeah, same event. Um, a couple English and Norwegian citizens agree to uh, are able to stay behind in Scotland. A lot of people think it's English resistance, which might be the case, but they honestly don't know. So they can't really say. What do we want? We could... Oh. Men stood by the cell, calmly, and waited their turn to jump. We just like to see it. Okay, they are, uh... They did the Kennedy plan. So that mean they might get, uh... Old Wally. Which would be awkward. Uh, they're committing to African democracy. And business ties. We'll see what happens. Now we can go ahead and promise a future. Unlike our opponents, who seem to fervently cling to the decades-old triumphs of the German Reich, her spear urges we look towards a future rather than continue to seek guidance from our previous exploits. He stands out as the only major political a a figure, active in current Reich politics, but has a pragmatic outlook on the future. Whilst our opponents may look may make extravagant claims of recapturing the magic of the 30s and 40s, we will simply promise a, the Reich a future. And hopefully it will be a prosperous one, as the German people have suffered enough. We can hope. Oh boy, can't we hope. Check in the population of Afghanistan real quick, because I know there are a few territories that just had one population, and I want to see if they fix that. They did. That's good. Same with Kurdistan, Nineveh. Huh. Okay, Goring and Heinrich are making moves. What's the construction looking like? They're back to factories. That's... So I'll be done by May. So that's not the worst, actually. It's not the worst idea. Farouk is dead. Turns out a diet of uh, cocaine and whores isn't able to sustain you. Or it was burgundy. It might have been burgundy. I don't know. You never know. What are you up to? Oh, a Strangheim. Very interesting. Oh, Communist Revolt in the Levant. 
11 Teen People's Republic. I mean, let's be real, it's not the, mo the most cursed fucking option of what to happen. Over here in, uh, old Jerusalem. I mean, if the, um, okay, that's, this is, gonna, this is a, not a good game for the Jews. Yeesh. A sensible economy. In accordance with Spears' doctrine of reform, it's time to at least attempt to commence some level of economic reform in the Reich. Her Spear has a great many gripes with the current economy of the Reich, referring to it as unstable and deeply unfair for the average German. With the enactment of his reforms, let us hope the greater German Reich will soon achieve econ economic stability and sensibility under the wise leadership of Her Spear. Yeah, this is pretty... The Jews are not going to have a good game, are they? Well, it's not the worst game. They don't have the fucking... Ultra-nationalist Jew killer over here. The Palestinian version. We just have commies. In theory, that's not going to be the worst. In practice, we'll have to wait and see. But in theory... You know, they might not be entirely fucked. Oh, this is not a good timeline for the Jews, but you know. Okay, so this is different. Uh, the economy has been on the downturn since the economic crash of the 50s. Many Germans who lost their jobs have remained on or underemployed and destitute for the better part of a decade now. Their only means of survival have hinge on the state continuing to provide them benefits. While the economy was crashing, many small business owners closed their doors for the last time. Major corporate interests throughout the country silently consolidated their holdings and bought properties, machinery, and expertise for next to nothing. German citizens were replaced with cheaper slave labor, and their jobs simply never returned. A decade later, wages still haven't returned to the pre crash le le levels. Even with 10 years of inflation for the few that still work, the German people yearn for some kind of action. We cannot be content to sit and watch or sit and suffer. Something must be done now to give the people some much needed relief and hope. Unfortunately, it's up to us to decide how to do this. You know, Ludwig Erhardt has some fascinating ideas. Let's, uh, let's follow his lead on this. So we're about tied with Borman for influence right about now. Which is good. Don't get me wrong. Wales, what are they doing? Oh, they want social, social democracy. So we'll have to see what happens there, I guess. They're investigating the military, I guess. We'll Getting rid of Vingate. We'll see what ends up happening in, happening in the kingdom. I'm conflicted because I should be rooting for the kingdom, just because you know they're more than they're more likely to help us. Ooh. As noted in previous communications, investigations into supposed domestic subversive elements are currently ongoing and will continue as further evidence is made known. Existing operational forces will be redistributed to locations where they are more needed until a time as the office of the Reich Commissariat deems it necessary. Forced deployments of a garrison, state security agencies, and local and federal forces are determined via the complex needs of the Reich Commissariat and may appear unorthodox, but they are being utilized to their fur for the uh, fullest extent. During this period, efforts to monitor ongoing supposed domestic subversive elements will continue as needed, but pursuant to the intentions of the security apparatus, additional direct action against alleged propaganda has been deemed counterproductive. Thus, until rescinded, the security apparatus has been ordered to observe and analyze supposed propaganda until such a time as the Office of the Reich Commissariat deems it necessary. The ongoing mission of the Greater German Reich and its interests in Nor Norway are being met at pace until further notice and will not require, require an increased activity in anti-propaganda endeavors. 
so many words. Have never had so little to say. Jesus. Way to bullshit your way through, man. Yeah. Well, the war is coming soon enough. We have until October, really. And that's when shit's gonna hit. Shizo's gonna hit the fan. Hydric and Goring are still making moves. We got a sensible economy. We're keeping up with Borman. What do we want? Let's do... Who was... You snapped. Okay. The Greater German Reich is currently under embargo by our opponents in the OFN and Co-Prosperity Spear, though it's not as if we're entirely innocent, as we ourselves are currently embargoing several potentially profitable trade partners. Thus, we have unintentionally limited trade uh, Germany's capacity to engage in international trade, thereby causing us unneeded economic strain. To have a successful economy, we must lift our are as of yet ironclad trade embargoes upon our opponents and encourage free trade across the Greater German Reich. There we go. Get a bit more influence with that in mind. Okay, so it's the Jews versus the militarist Jesus. And actually, Jesus might not be on either of their side, because you know. The Nazis are Nazis. Jews kind of killed Jesus, so he might... Eh, he's a forgiven... He's a live and let live guy. He'd probably forgive him. Never mind. Yeah, he's probably on the side of the Jews. I hope he is. It would be fucked up if he wasn't. After all the shit they've been through. God, I, I fucking hope. Central Siberian Republic has defeated Kress. Oh. Tomsk is not is doing pretty decent, actually. N news from Norway arrived today in indicating that the Reich Kommissariat is evidently implementing a large-scale industrial plan likely to modernize and revitalize the Netland's economy. In the modern era, Norway has never possessed much beyond light industry and for centuries has relied on agricultural and animal husbandry for its largest labor fields. However, as both Europe stabilizes under the Reich and the Einatz Pact generates increased economic cooperation, it would seem that the Northern Reich Kommissariat is beginning to make the full transition to an industrial member of our hegemony. Applications for permits to develop heavy industries like aircraft engines, large-scale ship constructions, chemical plants, and even a television factory have been issued to the industrial offices in Norway. While the smaller banks and investment groups are the growing market with interest, the heads of Germany's largest corporations such as Simons and E.G. Farben are already made, making large moves to capitalize on the decision. Only time will tell how this development shall shape the Reich into itself in the coming future, but it would seem the younger Norwegian population is quite keen on the news as we hope to escape a much more into a much more lucrative job market than would have otherwise existed. Open for business, baby. Wunderbar, the drums beat heavily. Still not quite sure what all of this would mean. Um, Magdadon is not doing well. In fact, a Moor is looking pretty solid. We might have... Potentially have the two most cursed East Russian unifiers. Which would not be very wholesome. 100% plus Chungus. I've been spending too much time on the TNO Wikipedia. Kill me. And I need them. I should probably not. I mean, okay, if you want to do that, I don't think that'll work at all, but you can do that.
Crew of jet fighters. That looks fucking weird, but we'll go with it. Um, basic fire control. Some army reserve training. What do we need to replace? Basic jet interceptors with um, improved jet interceptors. Mmm, good shit. Alright, yeah, it's time to cut it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you as always for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike if you want to see more of this content in the future. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more uploads every weekday, as well as every Saturday. If you have any comments, feedback, support, anything of a sort, leave in the comment section below. I read all the comments I get. I appreciate any all feedback you kind folks might have for me. If you want to send a few bucks my way, I have a uh, Patreon down below. If you want to share play games, I have a Twitch. And if you, uh, tw I have a Discord. If you want to watch me do this sort of stuff live, I have a Twitch. That's what I'm trying to say. Thanks as always for watching, guys. My name has been Doug with 3 and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.